general bruising and abrasion so general bruising and abrasion for example the press uh, may be manually squeezed and manipulated so we can have bruises on the breast we can have aberrations or even lacerations if the person who was performing the act was of some sadistic nature and he had some sort of a sexual perversion so even we can comment upon the mental state of the assailant over here uh, what will be the characteristics of these bruises uh, they can be discoid bruises of one to two centimeters uh, linear aberrations may be found and uh, usually from the fingernails from the fingernails of the uh, assailant right now uh, we are talking about the fingernails of the assailant over here uh, the marks can be found and these nails can basically form the aberrations on the victim now the bruises on the thigh and the buttocks are again very important so usually the location is on the inner aspects of the thighs uh, the outer aspects can still be involved and if yes uh, they have to be documented whenever we are writing an autopsy report or if we have a med medical legal um, uh, report writing we can uh, uh, write a report even in the living person if scratches are found they have to be documented then the inner aspects of the upper thighs are the regions which are mostly involved with these aberrations, lacerations and the bruising phenomena. Bruising around the anus is again very important due to the um, uh, due to the finger insertions and due to any uh, trauma to which the anal region was subjected to. So these bruisings are again very important and even we can find fissures, we can find cuts for uh, and this is very specifically important whenever we are dealing cases of the minors. Um, even children are subjected to these kind of sexual offenses and these bruising around the anal region and the vulval region are again very important whenever we are documenting the general kind of injuries in the victim.